all right so today's video is going to be a little get ready with me but first of all many of you watch me here um i'm giving the little wiggy wigs a little breaky break you know i i really didn't want to trouble my hair i didn't want to touch my hair i was over it also because i didn't have any hair products excuse the birds excuse the birds did i even say my intro and i am back with another video there we go something like that anyways yeah we're gonna get ready with me um i'm going out with my girl for a little drinky drink today and as i said i i'm tired of uh, <laughs> all right i'm tired of my hair and i'm tired of wearing wigs Maybe because I don't have many wig options, I need more wigs. But I kind of want to wear my hair out. I kind of want to just wash my hair and put some good, nice products in it. So I was blessed with the opportunity to work with Sivad Naturals by Ashale. So go check her out. She's a local brand with organic hair products. So I got three items. I got three products. So I have the hair tea, I have the curl hydrator, and I have the hair growth elixir. So yeah, girl here just used Eco Styler. Girl here that don't need treatment these days. Uh, ever since I did the big chop, I've been neglecting myself horribly. So we're going to get a little treaty treatment in. Why do I keep doing that? So I'm gonna just do a little treatment. Uh, this is what my hair is looking like. It, baby, it has grown it has grown like last night i looked at it and i was like wow i actually love this length that it's at because it's not too low and it's not too long but i feel like i still go to the barber to like shape it properly but i am really loving how the cut looks honestly like yeah yeah so i'm gonna play with it today and see if we can get a nice style. I think I'm going to do a twist out because I have not done a twist out in a while. Like seeing this, because I'm here they didn't for a funeral, but seeing like this texture or this pattern that's going on, I kind of want to do a twist out because I want my hair to be a little bit stretched. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the curl hydrator. One, the bottle is kind of small, like this size is small, and my hair will done this. So I'm going to use this along with some Eco Styler to do the twist out. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wash my hair, come back and show you how I put these products to use and then we can have a little chat. All right. Okay, all right. This is my Diva Curl microfiber towel. It comes with a little button and this thingy at the back so you can hook it. So it stays. This is what my hair is looking like after it's washed. I literally just used Tresemme products, etc. etc. So the hair tea is literally tea. Like not tea when you drink, but surprisingly, it's literal tea bags. So this is what it looks like when you open up the what do you call it? The bag. So literally a tea bag and it has like a whole heap of herbs um so what you're supposed to do with this you can use it two ways so you can wash your hair and then put it in a spray bottle i don't have my big spray bottle anymore so i put it in this little one put it in the spray bottle and then just spray from root to tips and that's it or you can leave it on for 30 to 45 minutes and then rinse so I don't have that time that kind of time so of course I brewed it basically do it like how you do tea boil the water I put it in a pot because I wanted more so I'm going to store the rest in the fridge because that's what they said to store it in the fridge so all of it couldn't hold in this bottle so of course I'm gonna to have to put the rest in the fridge so basically just heat your water put the when it's hot just put the hot water in the pot put the tea bag in there cover it and leave it for 4 to 24 hours it says the longer you brew it for the more effective the more potent yeah me you know what i'm saying so i did this from yesterday 
I don't think it has been 24 hours, but it's been more than four, and that's good enough for me. So I'm just gonna spray it all over my hair. So nice, so that man smell like it's full of Yo, guys, this smell like you can drink. Like I'm not even kidding. I would drink this, honestly. I would really drink this. You can actually use this as a deep conditioner, like instead of just spraying it daily. So you'd spray this and then style it here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to section it off into two, I guess. And then I'm going to just start with the back section. Like instead of spritzing my whole hair with it first and then putting in the product all at once, I'm just going to do it in section. So let me just. You have got to be kidding me. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Watch the ads, them, so we can get paid, so we can buy one mic. So you guys will no longer hear those things in the background like help your girl out please i beg i beg with you anyway moving on so just in order so i don't have to keep repeating and saying this all i'm going to do is just spray this on each section then i'm going to go in with the curl hydrator along with my eco seven gel which is basically finished and after that i go on top with this hair growth elixir and that's pretty much all I'm going to do. As I said, it's a twist out, so I'm not gonna do a wash and go. Just give it a little comb out. Yeah, comb out she. Spray she. Do a little. This is what it looks like. It's very soft, like it's very lightweight. Yeah, me like that. I like that. I like that. I couldn't use it on its own though because it's so lightweight. Um, I would definitely, if I was doing a wash and go, I would definitely, definitely have to pair it with my gel. So honestly, I don't know how the hairstyle I go work to be honest because I don't have enough gel. But y'all know that hack where you put water in the gel and mix it and basically stretch the gel yeah but might have to do that that's weird and then get a little bit of the gel run it on that This is what I look like. However many twists later. Juices! Twist them juicy. Go see that naturals. Yeah, girl. You. Oh my god. Yeah. Nice, clean, juicy twist. Love to see it. I look like somebody's son. Yeah, but I look like somebody's son, you know? Anyways, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to blow dry it. I'm actually going to get some food and then I'm going to come back and do my makeup. So, see y'all then. So guys, I am back. I put my bonnet on. I know I'm going to be doing my makeup. Rain or fall. <laughs> it is raining and honestly, I don't know if... Like, I'm not one of those persons that be like, as my Syrian man said, no son, no, we can't go again because I will still go depending on the activity. 
or you know depending on if you want if you don't want to take pictures and whatever okay no great fall outside i'm gonna look mucky and nasty and cranny and you know so i don't know i honestly don't know what to think right now but it is what it is and now i'm gonna see if i can do my brows okay so it was raining as i said and it's still drizzling but the sun is peeking up so on continuing with the makeup so i already did my brows and now i'm going to put on my primer and then well actually i saw this hack that i wanted to try somebody put on powder first and then they put on the primer i don't know how that's gonna work because i don't want to sit in spray but hey i'm gonna lightly just dab it on to be honest let me not go oh it. i think i'm gonna just leave that alone i'm gonna put on let's put on my primer Anyways, guys, you know what I've been thinking about lately? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm on my own, right? Like, I didn't grow up in Kingston. I literally knew nothing about Kingston when I started UTEC four or five years ago. I literally, I didn't have anybody over here I could stay with. I didn't have anybody over here I could ask. You know, go follow me here, drive me around here. Why am I putting so much primer on? Anyway, I didn't have anybody to do any of that, to help me with any of that. I had to figure stuff out on my own. Literally, when I came to Kingston for the first time, I was renting somewhere in Portmore. And when I tell you, I since we come music, since we come Kingston, that was the first time I ever went on a coaster bus. Um, I was so blank. I was so, 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 so blank. Worse because I never knew people would actually stand up in buses. Like, who stands up in a bus? Why would you stand up in a bus? Yeah. I'm like, them not drop the middle seats for anybody to sit down. So everybody just itch up in another bus and me and a whole lamp on railing and through me little lamp on that flimsy every go the bus goes up i'm going with it and me i drop one people and people say my girl look where y'all go and i'm just like i'm sorry i'm so sorry like i don't know how to do this i had to learn the, the portmore roots um my first week of school i got lost on my way home because of foolishness I believe I told this story already, but I took it down because, you know, eh, I don't know. I think I, 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 I think I omitted some details for the sake of me trying. I don't know what the hell I was trying to do, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna start off with that story because that's a story and a half. I'm going in with my Super Stay foundation in the shade. 332 i'm getting a new shade soon because this is a little bit darker than me now so may i mix it with my foundation which is the la girl pro conceal in the shade pure beige more of this like living in kingston like moving from portland to kingston not knowing anybody not having any friends like i'm those literally up here by myself doing this thing so there's that i did that on my own until eventually i was like first of all i'm not taking no more rides from any strangers second of all i'm going to start looking on the road properly so i can know where my stops are so i'm gonna know if nobody has hit me away or whatever so there's that all the first time you go half a tree by myself first time i take a taxi by myself here because when i was in portland with the high school is either my charter a taxi we go home or my dad takes me out and i go home like 
bus taking and taxi taking that was foreign to me that was very foreign to me so it was weird it was weird when i came to kingston and you know especially because me don't grow rough me don't grow rough and the way how some people treated me here i was like jesus like why am i so violent and hostile like why y'all gotta behave like that I remember one time I was going to ship me and I never knew because that time I remember I was living on haul. Well, I moved from Portmore after one semester I went on haul and then I needed to go to ship me, which is in Crossroad. I <laughs> I never knew there were taxis from Papin to go to Crossroad. So you know what I used to do? Take a taxi, go to Half a Tree. Take one taxi from half a tree to New Kingston and walk from New Kingston all the way to Crossroads. I don't believe I am not on crack. And told my friend then at the time, follow me do that too. Until eventually one day I realized, say, yo, and I said, we're not feeling this no more. I'm not far from Mr. Till. They were like, she'll be really bit more walk so far. And you know, say, could I get one? One taxi comes straight as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. But I didn't know where it was, so the first first time when I went on my own to ship me, it was a long ass walk. It was probably like half out of five minutes me off from New Kingston to ship me. Cause Daddy knows Kingston. I mean I call him from I, I, I literally called him on the phone and said, Daddy Mina know like I don't know where to go. Can you help me? And he was like, Alright, you're going to go to this place and then you're gonna walk down this road and da 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 and then like when we reach the road then I'm gonna call him back and say, Alright, where should I turn? Come you never have a service to my phone. And either way, I was not going to take out my phone on the road and be looking up directions or asking no strange men in the directions for them to take me away. I don't want anybody to have a clue that I am clueless. So there's that yeah no, it's just it's just a lot of little things like that and then you know what i had to get used to the most the prices of things in kingston for example yesterday we got half a tree and they're selling smoothies when we said the smoothie price 600 like other people like somebody said to me say yo them smoothies reasonable like 600 dollars so, no first i said like what you call it reasonable like three bills and they're like six and i'm like for a fucking smoothie in portland you can get that same smoothie for 200 dollars 250 at most it's that those things those things like they still baffle me i'm like why is it so expensive like okay that money just and like jamaica on a whole like things are so expensive that's why i rather buy things online anyway i will pay the shipping because i'm not too damn tea for here like i understand you need to make a profit i can't afford it miss i cannot afford what you're trying to sell me so i will go buy online and wait for my week and a half or two weeks for my product i'll be fine i will be fine if they know me my friend they know all the time I am an online shopper, like <sighs> no, no. Also I heard that this is a better way to put on a concealer. So put on in the inner corner right there and the outer edge and then blend upwards instead of bringing it all the way down here and blending it down so here it gets highlighted instead of here i mean i don't know the big difference yet but i'm gonna just do what the makeup gurus say because it looks it look good to, on them and it looks good on me so i don't know and when i do it like this i use less product either way so that's fine so yeah um there have been so many times I wanted to start a clothing store that's affordable and I'm like I can't because one I also want profit and if I want profit I will have I would have like the profit that I want I would basically have to charge how much them teething people are charge and I don't want to be a teething girl you know I want to be I want to be affordable I want to be affordable as well but I can't because Jamaica is so hard to live in you can't even get opportunities like and i still don't understand the the, the sense of a cover letter <laughs> when you're applying for jobs mind you i've never worked anywhere a day in my life i even just 
started caring about having a resume as of lately I was literally just I, I did everything like I'm a hustler I literally did anything else I could think of other than a job I never went on work or travel I was supposed to go twice never did um that's just really that for me I'm gonna let this sit out a bit do my contour so I'm going in with this true complexion contour palette light to medium so it looks like and sometimes I, I mix the shades sometimes I use the middle one alone as you can see it's already starting to hit pan so I just take this round angled brush yeah <laughs> and I do what I gotta do so I tap it knock off the excess and then I go So that's what the contour is looking like. I'm going to blend it out. So I'm going to use this brush and like blend it some more and then I'm going to use the um what do you call it? My sponge. Blend out that concealer, then try to blend everything together. Alright guys, I'm sorry, I'm really trying to concentrate because I'm realizing my relica yet. All right, so guys, here is my dilemma. I'm running out of, I think I never do these get ready with me properly because I'm always on the clock. And I literally started on time. Anyways, I'm going to take down my hair now and then I'm going to <laughs> find an outfit because I still have not found one yet. And I don't know why I went with this heavy beat. Like, that was not the aim. That was not the aim at all. So yeah, I'm gonna take down these twists. They're not 100% dry. So I'm going to use the hair growth elixir that I was talking about earlier. And I'm gonna spray it in my hands, on my fingertips. So I think I'm gonna start from the back. Just take my time. Yeah, they're definitely not dry. But you know, just gotta take my time and separate trying to create as little frizz as possible So this is what the hair is looking like at the moment so what I'm going to do I'm going to like use my wax stick and paste this down because I don't like how it's looking like it look messy um so I'm gonna do that I have to do the rest of this off camera because I'm running late as I keep saying so yeah when I finish I'll come back with the finished look 